Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my review on a bag that I have had for probably three to four years. This is one that I haven't seen too often on um, reviewed on YouTube channels. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. This is the bag that I am using currently as my everyday bag. Um, this is obviously a Louis Vuitton. Um, this is the Turenne, and it, it, the Turenne comes in three sizes, the PM, MM, and GM, and this is the MM. As you can see, it is the monogram canvas with the untreated cowhide leather. Now, mine actually on this video looks lighter than what I think it actually is in real life um, but it does have um, a pretty well-developed patina on it as you can see and in full disclosure this bag actually has had a repair um, probably after I used it for about hmm, six or eight months um, I tend to be a stuffer so I probably had way too much in here but the vaquetta here with these D-rings, this piece, let me show if I can show it to you. So this piece right here actually started to come undone and you could see the stitches exposed and it wasn't gonna hold up for very long and it actually did it on both sides. So I took it back to um, my local Louis Vuitton and they repaired it. They told me initially there might be a cost um, because I'd had the bag for over a year. It was a little over a year um, or more than a year. And I guess they thought that, you know, could, that's probably wear and tear. Well, I guess they decided it was a defective, um, an issue of defect because they went ahead and replaced the vaquetta for me and restitched it. The canvas is actually the thicker canvas. It's not as squishy as the canvas on my Pochette Matisse, but um, this bag is, I think this bag has held up pretty well overall. And it's interesting that the Vaquetta um, was was new. Um, it was, You could tell the difference um, in the color when I got it back, but the patina, and maybe it's the environment here where I live, um, that the patina has actually, on the on this vaquetta, on this vaquetta here, has actually caught up, I believe, to the handle and to my strap. So let me do some measurements for you. Now this is, um, this bag has a, the top, is approximately four, a little over 14 inches, 14 and a quarter inches. And from top to bottom, it is about 10, ten and a half inches. And it, its widest part, because it kind of poofs out in the middle, it is about 16 inches. The bag drop, okay, so the bag drop is about, the bag drop is about five and a half inches. And it does come with the untreated cowhide leather strap that is removable so you can carry this um, on the crook of your arm um, but it does have it is an adjustable strap and on me I can wear it comfortably as a shoulder bag I can um, wear it as a crossbody bag but where it hits me it kind of hits me just right underneath my chest um, so it isn't always the most comfortable of crossbodies, but it's absolutely doable. 
if I need it as a crossbody. So it is, as I said before, pull this back up. It has the two um, D rings, D rings right here and here to hold your strap, detachable shoulder strap, and then it has the additional Vaquetta trim that goes down the side. The bottom, this is one um, piece of canvas that is stitched in the middle. So um, you don't have the upside down LVs on the other side. As you can see, it's really nice and you can tell how um, that this is a genuine bag because of the symmetry along the stitching with the flowers. It has the little vaquetta, let's see if you can see that, that has the Louis Vuitton Paris on it. And it does have the zipper with a leather pull. And it has, now as you can see, this is obviously the bag I'm using currently because this does have uh, one large pocket over here and then two smaller pockets. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag while I'm at it. Um, and then I'll go over some additional details of the bag. This bag, um, like I said, I've had for about two to three years. And I feel it's, other than the, fact, other than the areas where it did need the repair, I feel as if this bag has held up very well it holds um, all my essentials and then some. I can actually fit my iPad in this bag, a full, a full size iPad. Not the ginormous iPad Pro, but I do fit my regular iPad in here and an iPad mini for sure fits comfortably in here. So as far as the stuff that's in my bag, um, right now I do have a, one of my Stila lip products and that's the color Aubrey. Let me just swatch it a little bit. So you can see, I love that this color has um, a nice kind of everyday color. And with these Stila um, lip balms actually, they are have a little bit of a minty um, sensation to them. So they're really good. I have a little tissue holder that is nice it's light compresses and fits into a lot of stuff don't want to get any lip stuff on my prod on my bag I have um, a pen and a little eyeglass cleaner which I really should put in one of my catch-alls and I probably will I have a chick-fil-a gift card I have one of these Prada envelope envelope wallets. I really like this. It's in the Safi, it's in a hot pink Safiano leather with a leather pull tab. Has the um, section so you can have your coins. And I use this primarily to hold receipts. And I do have a few cards in here. So if I am downsizing, I may often pull this out because once I empty the receipts, it's very flat. I do have my regular Jean wallet. And as you can see, this is magenta. There is a th theme going on here. I have more cards. I have this little insert that I use if I am, you know, for extra cash or money that I want to pull out. I have a little jewelry pouch that I carry. Um, if I have to take something off and I want to put it someplace secure, right now it's actually holding my rosary since it's Lent. I have another eyeglass cleaner wipe and another lippy. This is my Laura Mercier um, this is the 
Paint Wash Liquid Lip Color in Rosewood. Um, I really like this. This is one of my favorite lip paints. It has really good coverage and lo it's long wearing without being overly drying. A lot of the lip paints, especially the matte ones, tend to be very drying and don't care for that too much. Another pen. This is my vlog notebook. As you can see, not super, super full, but it got it's some pages, has some ideas in there. My handy dandy, really old medication case. Um, if you have to take pills every day like me, you know, happens when you get old. Um, these things are great to make sure that you remember that you've to take them, but also helps keep you organized and it's very simple to stick in your handbag. <clears throat> I have my cosmetic case, Louis Vuitton. This is um, the PM size, the smallest size. I use it as a catch-all. I've got a lip, um, sorry, perfume, my Gucci Guilty Rollerball. I have another little jewelry pouch, um, comb, my earbuds, and some extra tissues, as well as some blotting, some blotting pads that I picked up at Ulta. So keep that in here is my catch-all. And what else? I have my keys, my car, I have my Louis Vuitton sunglass case, love this case, um, and my guest sunglasses. Not the Fanciest of sunnies, but they do the trick because they are prescription. I am blind without my prescription glasses. Next, I have another um, hot pink Prada piece in Safiano leather. This is my card holder, and I actually do use it for my business cards. Obviously, I haven't given out too many because I got a ton. This is my Chanel, technically it's a card holder. I as, use it as a little mini wallet. I keep get, um, gift cards as well as my um, numerous uh, uh, credit cards in here that I don't really use that often, but I might need when I'm out shopping. For some reason, I do carry it with me all the time. This is my Hermes um, little pocket notebook. Um, has some information, um, you know, jot down ideas, things that come into my head. Um, and then, as you can see, has Hermes. Let's see if I can get that nice. Yes, Hermes on there. Um, and it's a lilac color, a goatskin leather. And another purple pen. You can see there's a theme here, a little um, Laura Mercier uh, lotion, hand lotion, and never leave home without your painkillers, and that's it. So as you can see, empty, it's pretty roomy, it has the fabric lining a little dirty in here but it's not too too bad for how old this is the two pockets the Louis Vuitton in Paris and this date code let's see what the date code says oh, if I could pull it out here Oops. so this date code if you can see it I don't know if you can see it. So, 
There's the date code. And this was made in fifth week of 2015. So yeah, almost three years old. And has the little D ring right there for keys. And this one was made in the USA. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. As you can see, it has the little made in the USA. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. Well, believe me, has a made in the USA, has the SD, which is an indication that this was made here in the US. Also, just to go over some wear and tear issues, this bag, um, you know, has a little bit of have a little bit of some areas where the the canvas has has scuffed up scratched up um, but as tad bit of corner wear here and here which you got to expect when it's the the canvas is folded like this um, but it's actually not too bad and other than that one area no other major nicks um, the, the canvas has stretched a tiny bit, um, obviously, because like I said, I overfilled it, but it's not too bad. And um, anybody who loves videos on how to tell authentic Louis, um, auth um, other authentic bags, um, then you should check out Emma Anders' website, or Emma Anders' um, YouTube channel. She has some really cool videos on genuine versus replica bags and this she's the one who actually I learned this from about the whole symmetry um, in Louis Vuitton that's one way that you can tell if it is a genuine piece because they do try to match the symmetry along stitch seams um, areas and see it over here as well on this side you get you get the symmetry and as I pointed out earlier along the stitching here you've got the symmetry of the flowers so oh even along the zipper let me close this up and you can see it along the zipper you can see the symmetry um, over here and then over there with the flowers um, and the flowers here and here obviously the tag hides some of it but that's just one of those other cool things well hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you subscribe send me um, uh, leave a comment down below um, and I hope to see you soon.